Hi guys, this is Corey, and here's a video that talks about auto hotkey for some basic on the fly impromptu scripting. So here we go, yeehaw. I've currently got a task in front of me where I'm trying to go from a synchro work breakdown structure schedule to an activity code schedule so that we can do an organization by trade. Now, on the surface, this isn't possible. This is functionality that we can only get in P6, but I've got some, some crazy knowledge that I know I can go from get this this thing out of here. I know I can go from synchros WBS name, pull over the path, do a text to columns, call this my activity codes, go into synchro, make four columns for level one, two, three, and four. But then what I end up with is this list of activity codes that doesn't have the proper description. So what do I have to do in synchro? Oh, oh you're killing me all, you're killing me. But I have to go in here and look at, this is a pivot table that references back here. This, this 3130, that's got to be kitchen equipment. So what do I have to do? Oh my goodness, I copy, I have to paste, then I have to click on 3740, go back here to this, copy, back over, paste, click, 3980, copy, here, paste. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal if I may say so myself. So, what I've got is this thing called Auto Hotkey. Now, I'm not a wiz I'm not an expert at Auto Hotkey, but what I do know is that it allows me to do some like I said on the fly scripting based on keyboard shortcut commands because this was going to take me, you know, a long freaking time to do that. And I'd rather spend the time learning how to use a new tool than uh, doing some inane stupid bullshit that no one else wants to do. So here we go. Um, th so at, when when you think about something programmatically, you got to think about how can I, how would I explain this to someone who knows absolutely nothing about computers or really doesn't know anything about anything. <laughs> I need to tell them the, the exact most simple way. So when I think about where I want to instantiate this command, it's going to be after I click on the activity. I then am switching over to my Excel spreadsheet. I'm hitting the down arrow. I'm hitting Control C to copy. I'm clicking in the description. I'm hitting paste. And then I'm going back up to the top, clicking, and going to my next item. All right, so what I can do is do a, a ma simple macro recording on that and it will show there's a little recording sign that's going on on my computer right now but so I click here I reactivate this window I hit down I hit control C I'm gonna do a left click then a right click and then instead of moving my mouse I'm gonna hit down arrow down arrow down arrow down arrow enter because it's always easier to use keyboard commands than it is mouse commands. And then I finally want to get my mouse cursor back up to the top, but that's going to be all it is for now. So as I, after I hit stop on my macro recorder, I can see that this is what I come up with. Really, I know I can get rid of that original portion right there. Okay, control down, control C, lovely. So I'm going to pull this thing into my auto hotkey script. And this is the completed one that I've already gotten done. And I've added a few things, which is get my mouse position and then re click back at the right location. So once you have this thing, this is just a text file. You go back to where it's located. I called it Synchro Activity Coder. Fantastic, fantastic. And this is the hotkey. It's going to be Alt and forward slash on my keyboard. This other one that is my actual good one is Alt spacebar. So the way this thing works, remember, we had to tell it how it was gonna, going to function. So we're going to click on a new activity. 
and Excel would already remember that it's on this one and it would go down to the next, copy it, and paste it over. So let's see if this thing actually actually works. Alt forward slash goes over, right clicks, copies it, and puts it in the right location. I'll be dang. The frickin' thing actually worked for once. So it's taken me a little while to get up to practice to be um, this proficient at using it and there's all sorts of variables that goes into this thing. So again, I'll just do a couple of them. Alt forward slash boom pops it back over in Potter Structures. 4600 uh, Rocket Bosworth Steel Erectors. 43 Renaissance. What's happening here? I have no idea. I don't know anything about this schedule. So the thing that I've got set up on mine is that if I hit Alt Spacebar, it goes over, grabs 4 420. My original one's messed up. No, that's just fantastic. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, you know, you gotta gotta be making sure that things are all going okay. But here to get back on the right track, I see 4820. Click on 4820, click on the one above 4820. Alt forward slash. Moves it in as G. 510 it's going to be my milestones and just keep on running on down through the list so there's a quick tutorial in auto hotkey hope you're having fun and have a fantastic day